Welcome back to Genuine Corner guys. This is the third video in the Android development tutorial series and in the last video I have designed the uh, component, the layout for displaying the inspiring code and now we have to connect that with the view pager. So in order to display something in the view pager, first we have to give data to the view pager and in order to give data, Android users adapt this adapter so first we have to create an adapter and then connect that adapter with the view pager in order to get the uh, user interface we want so i'm going to the genuine inspiration and in the new section i'm going to create a new java class and that i'm going to give the name my pager or maybe code pager adapter we are designing an adapter and we got a class and here I am going to extend the class with the pager adapter this is very important so I have extended the class with the pager adapter so now I have to uh, declare a lots of methods so Im implement methods and you can see there is a count I mean this will return the number of counts I mean the number of slides that we are going to display in the view pager and this is view from object is useful for something else uh, to be frank I don't even know what that means it is always used in this manner return view equals object it will return a boolean object and the first thing that we have to do is we have to first accept a context variable and a list of codes that we are going to display so for that I'm going to create an array list here so an array list of it can't be a type of string so for that I'm going to create a wrapper class for this code activity so for that I'm going to create a class new java class and let uh, let us name the class a code and inside that code there will be two entries the first entry will be an entry for uh, the code and the second one will be the for the author and we need a constructor for that you can use the alt and insert button and here we have an option for constructor so now we can easily construct that then uh, now we have a constructor then alt insert for get run setter methods so i'm going to select these two and okay so now i got the code class that was pretty simple right then i'm going to the main activity and whenever i read a new uh, code from the database I will create a code object so that can be created using code qt equals new code so what I have done is I just created a wrapper for the code so then code then order so that's fine I hope the order is correct in the code uh, first we give you all code then order so that's fine now we need an array list it is similar to what we do in Java we just have to create an array list so array list then we need a code type then list equals new array list so now we got an array list here then we have to add each of this code object into the array list so list dot add qt now we will pass this list to this view page uh, to the code adapter a little bit later so uh, that's what I am going to access here array list code list and I will accept the uh, um, array list using the constructor there is one more thing that you have to understand there is a variable uh, there is a class called context and this context is very important for uh, accessing the layout inflator and things like that uh, for that let us just create a context object then I am going to create a constructor so alt insert then constructor then these two so now I got the context and the list so far we are good we got the uh, now we have to return the count I mean the number of slides that we are going to display that we will get from the list object so list dot size so now we have to override one more function in order to give data th to this 
slide layout fun uh, layout so for that i'm going back to the code page adapter and control space and instantiate item is the one that we are looking for here we will actually give data or inflate the slide layout and give data this is the core method that we want to use so uh, it is hard to remember what to do in this instantiate item i mean uh, if you are a beginner in android these are a whole lot of new functions so it is not necessary to memorize all of this for in my case i have used the help of the stack overflow and my previous project so i'm just copy and paste the code from my previous project so there is an instantiate item and here i'm going to copy and paste this later in later so i will explain that to you so the first thing whenever we uh, whenever the insta this instantiate item will be called for each slide in the view page so for each slide we have to get a court object so list dot get position i mean if you are going to load the third court then the position will be three so we will load that co object into the or load that court into this object variable then we will go for the layout inflator this layout inflator is used for inflating this view and display it in your uh, screen so for that it will take a context so that's why we take uh, took the context variable from our main activity so I'm going to copy and paste it here context now that's fine now we have to inflate our view for that we are going to inflate r dot layout dot then we are going to inflate the slide layout then the container is uh, is the same that is coming from here so we got the container then we will return false then the next thing that we have to do is we have to access these two text view variable from our code view adapter code page adapter so for that i am going to create two instances of our text view so text view code uh, I'm going to give the code okay that's fine then text view then we have to go for the find view by ID it is not possible to go for find view by ID from a class that not extends the activity class so what you have to do is you have to make the help of this layout variable then layout dot find view by ID then we are going for our dot ID dot we have been given variable name for this so I am going to give an ID here I am going to give a quote holder and this is the second one this is the other holder so I'll go for other holder then that's fine then here I am going to access that variable quote holder first then I'm sorry it has to be quote holder so that's fine now I just want one more variable that is will be the order so text view order equals uh, dot id dot court uh, order holder so now we got two text views for displaying both the court and the order of the court now the last thing that we have to do is to set the data so court dot set text method will allow us to set the data on the court section so court dot set text then i'm going to pass the object dot sorry not object or the uh, object dot get code so now we have set the code then all the dot set text and I have to go for object dot get order now we have set both the code and the order now we just have to return the object which is the layout that we have inflated so return layout so what we have actually done is we have inflated the layout into the uh, layout object then we given the data then the layout is returned so that's fine that is the end of the page adapter I think this is the end of the third video in the next video we will see how to attach this adapter with the view pager and we will run the program in the next video so thanks for watching